Uh, the House under Kivlinie voting was a very exciting place. It seemed to be the center of activity in Springfield. Uh, there were all different sorts of uh, sources of power and interest. It was like a symphony, really, with not just two instruments playing, but a number of different instruments going at all the, at all times. Well, under cumulative voting that existed prior to 1980-81, we had uh, three member districts, and basically, uh, at the maximum, you needed a third of the vote plus one to get elected. If you could get that, nobody could deny you uh, election. When I first got elected in 1972, there was a method in Illinois called cumulative voting, whereby a voter could vote, give, one voter could give three candidates one vote each, he could give two candidates one and a half votes, or give one candidate all three votes, which is called bullet voting. The district from which I, which I was elected was a district that comprised only about 20% African American constituencies. So what I did was I organized the African American community and had them bullet vote for me. And by bullet voting, I got three votes from most of the residents in the African American community. You now need 50% plus one in, in a district. It's much more difficult for people to enter into the system and it's much more expensive for them to run campaigns. Because you got people. If you got people, you don't need money. We convinced people that we could do it because of the three votes. Remember, it's, it's much easier. Because if, if when, when you show folks where as you can get over, people understand that. Prior to 1870, Illinois used traditional winner-take-all elections. No Democrats were elected north of Springfield, and no Republicans south, leaving both groups unrepresented. To solve this and other problems, Illinois held a constitutional convention in 1869. The voting basically was designed to provide minority representation. That's what Joseph Medill had in mind when he pushed that concept in Illinois initially. Now, when I say minority, that isn't necessarily related to ethnicity. It could be political party minority. But the whole the concept was we do want minorities represented so that we have this cross-fertilization of ideas and people are not excluded from the process. So it lent itself uniquely to the uh, addition of minority ethnic members to the General Assembly, whether they were Afro-American or they were Hispanic or uh, women, whatever. Uh, so it was a great opportunity for them to get involved in the process. It, it, in, in the early days, it gave women an opportunity to get involved in politics. But how did it work? Instead of a traditional election where only one person is elected